Hey everybody, welcome back. It's MJ here, Just Plain Fun. And as you can see, my time management skills are terrible. I don't even have time to open boxes when they come in. So let's do an unboxing video, shall we? All right, y'all, let's see what we've got in this first box here. And I'm gonna be honest, y'all saw that big pile of boxes at the beginning. I don't even know what's in some of these boxes. Some of them I do know. And I'm opening them at the bottom so that y'all can't see the address on it because, you know, we're keeping this thing anonymous for the most part. A little, a little padding going on there. Oh, looks we got looks like we got envelopes. And like I said, I don't even know what's in this stuff. I don't know if public service announcements on packing are something that y'all are receptive to or want to hear. But I can tell you that this right here is not cost effective. I'm confident that the person who sent this will not watch this video. But just in case, this is kind of a waste of envelopes here. But let's see what we've got. One of the biggest questions that I get, or one of the most common questions that I get asked is, where do I get all my stuff? And so this particular purchase, I have figured it out in the course of opening this. This is an eBay purchase. And as you can see, this one is just a knob. It's just a, a tall knob. And I'm pretty sure that this is, these are the parts from a bedrock that I bought on eBay. I'm not gonna bore you all to tears with all these details, but there is a repairable tote to go along with that knob. And let's see what else we've got. You know, honestly, I'll probably reuse these envelopes, especially this one. So at least they're not going to waste. Another thing that I hear a lot is, you know, folks asking if I take apart complete planes. And I'm pretty sure I've talked about it before, but just in case you're new, to just plain fun, the answer is no. I do not take apart complete planes. This is the kind of thing that I do. I buy partial planes that someone else has, you know, say scrap the body like this one. And this is actually this actually works out pretty good because my theme for this unboxing video is going to be I'm going to open a series of packages and they're all going to foreshadow future videos that are coming. So I am actually going to do a type study video on the bedrock. I'm not going to be able to go into as much detail because I don't have all of the bedrocks that I would need to show you each and every nuance, each and every part of the bedrocks. But I'll at least be able to hit the highlights for folks that are, you know, rather unfamiliar with them. And to be honest, that is the reason why I got this, because I did not have a three-line bedrock lever cap on hand. And so that is the reason why I bought it. And let me just give you another little how you doing about bedrocks in general. If you ever wonder how to tell the frogs apart between a round side and a flat side, and I've talked about this in other videos too, but just in case you haven't watched those, if this part right here is rounded like this, that is for a round side bedrock. If this goes flat, if it's straight across, or if it's flat back there, it goes to a flat side bedrock. So now you know. So with a part slot like this, this is going to, this lever cap is going to stick around until at least the type study video is down. This frog will, you know, add to the best, um, bedrock frog stash and will go up for sale. This tote will, you know, potentially go to say Gordon or Ryan or, or somebody else and have them professionally repaired. Of course, I could muddle my way through it and try and do a good job, but those guys will just do it better. And then all of this will just go into the parts bin and wait for one of y'all to need it. Let's see what we've got here. And while I'm opening this, let me give y'all another PSA. The person who sent this to me more than likely used pirate ship. And that's how they were able to get away with using this box. Because as you can see, it's a large flat rate box that they modified. And I'm going to warn you that if you're not using pirate ship, and really, even if you are, you got to be careful with that because if you roll up in the post office and they scan this box, you're going to get charged the full large flat rate, even though the box has been modified to obviously be smaller and lighter. So just be careful with that. That's your free public service announcement for shipping purposes. And if you're using buyer ship, you know, and you want to take that risk, then by all means, I'm not going to tell you not to. So remember the theme here is this is this is foreshadowing future videos that are coming hopefully sooner than later i actually want to do a saw sharpening video and so i thought that it would be appropriate 
to show you this one because this is actually going to be the saw that is going to show up in said saw sharpening video. I'm going to be more careful with my razor these days so that I don't tear stuff up. And for those of you that follow the Can I Have It page on Facebook, you have or you, you probably saw this, maybe you saw it, depending on the timing and depending on how long it stayed up after I bought it. And as I recall, I think I claimed it within a few minutes of it being posted. And there we go. That's a little distant. The teeth have already been removed here because someone else is probably planning on reestablishing, but that's an old distant. I like these little back saws. I like them a lot. I have a small collection of them. And like I said, got a saw sharpening video coming in the hopefully not too distant future. Haha, <laughs> I've got more free shipping advice for y'all. This is a large, excuse me, a uh, flat rate envelope. And it goes for, I believe it's $8.95. And sometimes you can actually beat the pirate ship rate even with this. So if you've got something that'll fit in this, maybe it's got a little weight to it, like you're sending a bunch of plain irons or something. If you can get them in here, you want to wrap them up real good in bubble wrap, you know, and secure them and everything. But if it'll fit in here and then you just tape the whole outside of it, then you can actually save you and your buyer money on shipping. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So more foreshadowing of what's to come. I do have that video about the Stanley number 45 that I'm planning on making. And Tom Rager, whose name is going to come up in that video as well, was kind enough to hold back a couple of these books by Dave Heckel. I do have, I think this makes four of these now, so I will be selling some uh, in the near future. And so if that's something you're interested in, you have any watching this video, you know, shoot me a, shoot me a PM on Facebook. This box I got from another collector slash hand plane guy up in Minnesota. And the reason why I want to show this one, it's not necessarily a foreshadowing for a future video, although I'm sure I can work it in there somehow. But this, I just want to give you all an example of the kind of, I guess, boxes that I get occasionally. And this is me, you know, purchasing just a parts lot from somebody. So they had, you know, a bunch of broken planes. They were able to salvage these parts off of it and we worked out a deal. So I'm going to just kind of hit some highlights without going into crazy detail on everything. Got some decent knobs here. And just from the outside of the package, it looks like at least one is rosewood. Probably needs to be repaired. But we're going to call that probably a number four size rosewood. And it's pretty rough there, but fortunately, I know people. A lot of times when folks are selling off their parts, they want to just get rid of everything. They don't like people going through and cherry picking because then they'll be left with nothing but junk. So it's kind of an all or nothing deal. You got to take everything. There's a frog from an S4, S5. For some of y'all, that's that steel plane that Stanley made or one of the steel planes. And just a random frog. I'm sure y'all don't care about seeing each and every one of these, but you know, a couple of these are pretty decent. That's number three size right there and type 12 through type 15. If you've watched my type study videos, you remember it's smooth right there. That's later. And so that means that that brass right there can't be original to it. And that's okay. You see that a lot. Remember that one? Well, quiz time is going to be a type nine there with no adjuster. So it's a true type nine. If you've watched that type study video. And some block plane lever caps because you can never have too many of those. I'm going to go ahead and take an opportunity to cover this right here. As you can see, this one, the lever is gone. This is off of a you know 203 or a 60 and a half right here, a low angle block. And the lever's gone. This one is all busted up right here. You see that unfortunately too often. You really see both of these scenarios. So what we can do here is pop that one out. You know, it's just balloon or excuse me mushroomed here on the top in order to keep it in there so you can just pop that little dude out and then move it over to this one and so you know i just show that because 
one, these are the same size, even though it's a, you know, 220, nine and a quarter, nine and a half cap versus 16 and a half. The lever itself is the same size. And also I do sell these individual levers. So if you happen to have one that's broken, just let me know. In this box, other than what I showed you, you know, just a lot of odds and ends. This frog probably worth repairing. That's a uh, five and a half, as you can see, for a type 11 or type 10 or type 11 there. So that's probably going to be worth finding a lateral to put on there, which shouldn't be too tough. And a couple of other frogs here. That one's a type 9 alpha. There are no frog adjustments through if you watch that video. Um, and then just, you know, some random hardware here. Always looking for these because I can restock the bin. You know, a little lateral here, probably what awards master union, something like that. Something that was made by Stanley, but for somebody else, a Y adjusting lever and some parts for levels here. So if anybody happens to need those, I do have these and then I have a whole bag upstairs um, nice uh, v logo there so if that's anything that y'all need you know you're restoring a level i do have a few select parts for those yeah the main objective there for showing y'all that one is just to give you a, a quick look see at the kind of parts lots that i get so if you ever see that picture or you see the short snippet of video where i have the whole entire shelf that's just lined with frogs 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 and more frogs what do they call that a gaggle of frogs now you know why, because, you know, they just come in big boxes like this. Just for fun, let's go ahead and do a mystery box. Um, I have no idea what is in this box. I didn't recognize the name. I believe this is probably an eBay purchase. Let's find out. Aha, this is an eBay purchase. This is a lot that I picked up for bevel gauges if anybody happens to need some parts for these not something that i advertise heavily or that i've carried a ton of in the past i've had some folks ask and it's just not something that i've had a whole lot of but maybe that's changing and that means that if y'all need some stuff for a bevel gauge and i believe there's some mortising gauge parts and marking gauge parts in here as well so if that's something that y'all need and even look at that probably some wood screws for for some woodies some brass hardware that i believe is for an ec sterns like say uh, 80 style scraper blade for example or scraper rather not just a blade i've gotten you know a few requests over the years for those if that's something that you need and i know y'all are out there you can consider this something that is now part of the inventory at least until it sells i believe that is a brass mustache just kidding that goes actually to a mortising gauge or a marking gauge for those of you that are in the know you've seen those little rosewood and brass ones so without going into too much detail there or spending too much time on this just know that these are out there bevel gauges sliding bevels mortise gauges marking gauges if you need parts for those you all know what to do that last mystery box was so much fun. let's do another one same thing i have no idea what is in this one i can manage my time better and i know it definitely looks like a thing from number 45 was that a little close to the camera for you? And there you go. That's a little older one. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure this was another eBay purchase because you can never have too many number 45s or number 45 parts. Oh, yes. There we go. Yes, I remember now. How do you like that? If you're watching Tom, what do you think of that? I guess you could say that we're back to foreshadowing future videos. This is a nosing attachment, just in case you're not familiar with it, for number 45, 55, you know, probably more of number 45, but it would work with either one. So that's a big nosing attachment there. You can use those to attach your hollows and round. And we're coming back after a little video malfunction. Lost some footage there. Y'all get to see 
the complete unboxing or the complete unboxed now. Got a little uh, hollow and round action going on here. I believe you all saw this one. Remember, these are nosing attachments typically used with the number 45. And this, I know I said eBay earlier. This was actually a Facebook marketplace purchase. Somebody sent me the link and I immediately reached out to the seller and picked these up. So number 45 mostly, but there are some number 46 parts in here like this little dude right here. And obviously incomplete. The hollows and rounds are actually going to stay in my personal collection. The 45, you know, you're going to see these parts out there and you'll probably see them in the upcoming number 45 video. But, you know, I just bring that up. It's incomplete. So, you know, don't come for me because I'm not breaking up complete planes. I can't stress that enough. And I still get that question sometimes. So that's why I have to feel like I need to repeat it. But it is always nice to add some more inventory to the stash. And I kind of I kind of like the way this one looks. Going to do one more here. This is a very special unboxing. There's no one that I would rather, you know, open these boxes with than you all, the most wonderful YouTube viewers around. And obviously, I'm only partially serious about this one. But I really do have these uh, 5 sixteenths size um, mortising chisel and bit set so if you happen to have a big mortiser and you are in the market for a 5 16th i have a few of these and, it, and they'll be going up on ebay but i figured i'd show them to y'all here so on the outside chance that somebody needs one of these y'all obviously know what to do you know how to get a hold of me at this point facebook just plain fun the parts division you can also email me at j plain fun at gmail.com and that's paint plain p-l-a-n-e j plain fun at gmail.com i obviously did not get to all the boxes that you saw at the beginning of this video but let's be honest that would take entirely too long as always thanks everybody for watching i hope to see you all around in the community